Hello everybody, you wonderful people. My name is Ursa Ryan and I've been staring at this Civilization 5, 5? 6, new leader screen, oh god. Gone back in time everybody. Civilization 6, it's written here. I've been staring at Harold for about five minutes now. This new version, Varangian. Varangian? Soft G? Hard G? I don't know. I can guarantee whichever one I go for, it'll be wrong. So let's just say new Harold. About five minutes I've been sitting here, just studying, meditating upon his beautiful face trying to work out what on earth to do because this is such a weird ability and, and here's my logic without actually playing anything firstly i'd never really thought of it before but thunderbolt of the north harold the thirst harold is the one that gets viking longships and also the one that allows coastal raiding for naval melee units so this is all harold's ability i i wasn't sure what was norway and what was harold i'd never really had to think about it before so new harold loses the viking longship that, that's a big problem that was was kind of like half of my early game Norway strat. You just pump out the boats and off you go. To make it even weirder, Norway's abilities kind of are a bit strange without the boats. Yes, you can enter ocean tiles after researching shipbuilding. Brilliant, good for you. But, you know, there are no Viking longships, so what's the point? Naval melee units heal in neutral territory. Great, but I guess they're galleys and caravels instead of Viking longships. Again, weird. Berserkers are both amazing and frustrating at the same time. That plus 10 is brilliant. The minus 5 when defending? Not so brilliant. Dave Churches, again, very useful. That additional standard adjacency from Woods can be really, really handy, and I think it's going to basically force us to go religious. Plus one production to each coastal resource, Talama City. Again, one of those little things you don't really notice at the time until you realise just how good it is when you get those resources. But herein lies the problem. 75% discount on levying units. Brilliant. I like that. Instead of 200 gold to levy five warriors at the beginning of the game, that's going to be 50 gold. That's not much money at all. I like that. Ursa Likey. Levied units receive cold culture, faith, and science from kills equal to 50% of the opponent's combat strength. Again, brilliant. It's like Gorgo or Georgia on absolute steroids. You kill an enemy, I'm saying enemy, but it doesn't say anything here that it's got to be a major sieve or city-state or even barbarian. You receive 50% of the strength. So a warrior, which is 20 strength, would give you 10 culture, faith, and science. Early game, really handy. However, unlike Hungary, okay, there is no speed bonus. There is no combat bonus and there is no upgrade bonus so if you levy a bunch of warriors you can't upgrade them cheaply into swordsmen you still have to have that money and there's no gold production from this either to make it even weirder we've lost our ability to pillage mines and plantations and camps and quarries and pastures for additional stats so literally it's just for combat kills we're gonna have a problem with walls we're gonna have a problem with upgrading we're gonna have a problem with gold this is gonna go one of two ways ladies and gentlemen this is going to either be very powerful or very very strange i'm already looking forward to getting started normally by the way i wouldn't start a game on this screen you get to actually see me set up the game for once I'm gonna keep it small today what map i mean again you always have norway as a bit of an ocean sieve i'm not entirely sure that's necessarily true today i really like the continents and islands map but let's go for that this is one of my favorites i like having to use some boats otherwise what's the point in having the naval tree i'm gonna put barb clans on because i feel like attacking barbarians is going to be a good way of getting that early game culture faith and science and also i do like the idea of more city states if i'm going to end up levying them again i don't get the additional envoys like hungary does it just to me feels like a weird version of hungary but worse I'm sure I'm underplaying it. I'm, I'm sure I'm underplaying it here. I look forward to figuring it out. I think I'm going to put Secret Societies mode on just because I fancy Norwegian vampires. I can't tell you why. I just do. I like upping the number of city-states just a little bit in my games. I often do this. I like to have two city-states exactly per sieve. So it starts at nine. I put it to 12. doesn't really matter if you do this or not with barbarian clans because they'll appear anyway. I just like it. It's, it's fun and start position balanced. Maybe I'll get some resources. Who knows? Let's make it wet as well. <laughs> Stave Church. That's what we're going for there. All right. So just show, show me what you got. Well, that's weird. There's no new text. No new text at all. It's still telling me that I'm Thunderbolt of the North and that my longboats dominate the waves. Um, yeah, aw awkward. Very awkward. Oh, look at that. 
Okie dokie, the first thing I am spotting already is that there are no hill plains, which is a bit of a problem. That is also a holy site spot that would be, I think, plus six when all the woods get put into play. So Stave Church will make that a little bit better later into the game. Uh, so yeah, this is a weird old start location. I kind of want to be near that ivory, but I don't want to ruin the holy site. Settling on that tile as well will kind of ruin the woods that I'm on. Plus it's a grassland hill as well, so I'll lose a production if I settle on that tile. Interesting. Oh, better save the file for everybody. I have the amount of times I forget to save the turn one file and I have to dig it out. It's ridiculous. Did you want to have a quick glimpse into the uh, madness of Ursa? This is how many save files I've had uh, since getting my new computer. This is what happens when you play Civ professionally. Look at... Ah, ah, ah. I reckon I want to move down, right, or below. Yeah, one of these sort of directions, I think, in order to just move my capital away from that holy site. I think I'll, I'll end up losing the production from the stone, right? So settling on the stone is pointless, I think. Might be wrong with that, but I think that's right. And that's definitely C, isn't it? A coastal tile, so I'll lose that. Although that's lake. If I can get the marsh pantheon, there's at least four, five that I can see around here. So that would be really good. And if I were to settle on this stone, yes, I'd be near tundra, which isn't brilliant, but it would unlock a bunch of pantheon sites as well as giving me a 2-2 tile to work. Actually, a bunch of 2-2 tiles. So I'm tempted to go and settle down there. Let's just move my warrior around a little bit. I'm moving away from the desert and towards tundra. It's not ideal really but I think that's the move for me yeah weird weird start this one but I like weird starts it makes you think makes you play yeah I did lose the production turns out there are two diamonds though I lucked out massively that yep that was uh this is what we call a blurst start I think but before we get started today, a quick update on something concerning. Here is Ursa Bear. Ursa Bear was unfairly expelled from Oxford University's Civ 6 program. Ursa Bear now has 30,000 signatures, and with that, magical powers were bestowed upon him to see the invisible. And Ursa Bear noticed something. An invisible, kind, helpful man. A man called Paul. Don't let Ursa Bear be distracted by the terrible spy Paul. Help Ursa Bear focus on Sankor. Will you subscribe today? Thank you, and back to the video. Now, how do we start? on this there's no point rushing sailing because we don't have viking longships so i think we just go for astrology and we get our religion as quickly as possible however that involves removing copper and i think i need mining to do that so there's no point rushing astrology i might as well get mining itself continents and islands maps sometimes the continents are big sometimes they're not i have to assume that it's probably bigger which means the ai is here which means i should probably go for a scout however because i've got this horrendous 2221 start it means that my level up will be exactly on a warrior build so I, I like to do scout if I've got a little bit more production but right now that'll have to do I think I kind of want a gogi as soon as I can I want to get yeah these these two tiles are going to be brilliant actually so my, I mean, oh, this is the thing if I go mining do I go warrior or do I just go for a builder I'll go for a warrior just because again barbarians are always a bit of an issue I need to explore the map I need to find the city states I need to find anything I can tribal huts are going to be good Speaking of, there's one there. Uh, barbarian just appeared to my right. So we're gonna move my warrior to here and then bring it down. I need to clear out the barbarians as, as soon as I can, but I also wanna get sanguine packed as soon as I can as well. As I say, Norwegian vampires, just could be fun. I haven't played vampires in a long time properly. There's Void Singers. I'm going to go Pingala, I think, just for the increased starting speed of 15% extra science and culture. Always, I never regret going for it, really. I mean, admittedly, I probably should have got Amani and then rushed. Oh, I should have done that. Yeah, look, it's only turn six. I'm going to reload the turn. I'm going to go Amani instead. I just, I, I should have gone Amani. You know, one thing I can't deny is get up. His get up's really cool. I, I like this new look. It's like chunky armor with a cool sword and really cool sort of Norwegian Vikings to oh yeah no I love it it's really really cool right this time this time I go Armani I don't know why I didn't do that I always go Armani and I was thinking I've got to go Armani because I want to get my Van Green guard going so I got population so uh, that's good I could go straight into settler I can go for builder don't know which one's better for me here We'll just have to work it out as we go along, I think. Let's just keep moving my warrior down. Look, we're actually gonna go and deal with some barbarians, people. Look, I, I never deal with barbarians. Are you proud of me? Let's go build a settler. Sometimes I rush out that settler and I'm increasingly thinking, 
going for the immediate settler so I've got like a turn 21 settler or turn like 19 or something increasingly I'm thinking that's not the strategy pushing my housing to like four to five population and then going settler you produce it a lot quicker but also then you have the resources to keep that city relevant I don't know I, I'm, I'm playing around with that tactic at the moment I've, I've always religiously just gone for settler as soon as I can I'm starting to think that's not the play. Astrology time now. Only six people on this map, so I'm really hoping... <laughs> Singy. Really hoping that getting astrology is not going to be too difficult. Okay, well, this is good, because this means we've got a really good second city spot somewhere. As long as we can get some fresh water around here. We've got Marsh for my hopeful pantheon. There's Mittler. Midler have been found by someone. Interesting. Here's the barb by the work. And let them attack me onto the hill. Go on, you do that. You give me as much strength as you can. Yes, you fool. But if I can take over Midler, that will give me an army to levy and we can go after someone as quickly as possible. I think I might have to go for masonry as soon as I can. Get that battering ram up and running because as much as I can levy people, I'm not going to be able to get through the deity walls of anything. That's, that's going to be my, my problem here. AI is going to sit there behind their walls laughing at me going, go on then with your, with your cheap army. What are you going to do? Oh, the warriors are just, they're just arriving one by one. I have a nice good defensive position. I'm healing nicely. They're leveling me up. Just keep fortified. I think I've got plus six combat strength from the fortification now, and I've got plus three as well. Now, you see, unfortunately, there is a slinger. Ignore the slinger. Slingers are bad. Discipline. God King. Let's get the pantheon out. People always go, Ursa, you never you never fight the barbarians. You never fight them. They're just going to wreck you. And like, looking at it, look, look how many units they can spawn. I've already killed two warriors, and there's three, four, and then a slinger. Like, I try. All right. I think the slinger is going to be a bit of a problem here here for me actually because ugh, it ruins my ability just to sit on a point and defend i'm gonna have to pull back to my own territory and heal there but that's okay we don't mind that it's just a bit more frustrating but i don't want to let myself get overrun i think i'm gonna go for a holy site so let's get one slinger try and get the boost and then we'll put the holy site down so i'm gonna go improvement remove the copper and then improvement probably something like that i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do we'll, we'll work it out as we go along Ah, this is annoying. These slingers. Okay, so I can I can move to the marsh, which I'm gonna have to do. Then the slinger's gonna attack and kill me. I, I might lose a unit. Even even with all of my defensive play here, I think I may end up losing a unit, which is just an absolute pain. So I've made the play. I've moved the warrior around. Try and block this off. Oh yeah, no, it did a bit, but not enough. Um, let's. Oh, you see, if I move to there, then the warrior Amslinger will attack me. I've got to move here. This is the only way that I can guarantee that warrior survives. Let's get the mine going. Improve wheel, but more importantly, just give me just a smidge more production to get the slinger out. What are they going to do? Yep, yeah, they're going to attack me there, as predicted. It means I can move this warrior back, and luckily I now have my promotion. Battle cry. It gives me a bit more sticking power. Let's move my stuff to the left. They're probably going to end up pillaging that diamond resource almost instantaneously but that's okay we don't mind that we'll just have to live with it no they're not going to that's an interesting play okay cool am i going to be strong enough to then go straight for holy site now now i'm going to make one more slinger i need a bit of an army like I'm, I'm having to just actually dig in here this is this is such a vicious early game bar brush look at this barbarous terribly terribly barbarous i think i can make that kill yes i can good oh i was really really worried that wasn't gonna work that all right yeah you're gonna move to that that's not great they're likely going to pillage but i want to keep this warrior alive i'm just gonna have to let them hopefully they'll, they'll advance it's unlikely they'll advance but hopefully they will there's the resource removed that means i can now get the holy site it's plus two at the moment which is good we'll get that finished soon they're probably gonna pillage it doesn't matter i've got my builder still no they don't pillage they didn't pillage interesting go on advance advance yes yes mistake big mistake friend let's bring this slinger to that defensive tower because it's easier to hold make that attack or oh, would i would i survive an attack i don't know if i would i'm gonna have to pull back which is really annoying what you gonna do what you gonna do oh attack my slinger a little bit but the other slinger and the warrior move themselves around so that's fine one attack two attack right good archery boosted bronze working boosted we've got the boost this is that the war start is giving us some advantage let's go archery that'll give us a bit of combat power that should be enough to survive i hope 
Gamp there, just using my Slinger to target me at the moment, which is not great. Move my Warrior into this place, I think. Now we've got ourselves promoted a little bit. I think we're doing okay. It's just holding on here. I didn't mention at the time, by the way, but there is horses on that tile. So that exists. That That's a thing. So they pillaged my beautiful diamonds. Don't worry. It's fine. The Slinger's going to get Volley. I think we've survived the initial rush. I still am no wiser as to where these barbarians are, but uh, I survived the initial rush, which is a good thing. Uh, campus. Midler want a campus. Like, look, if I could build a campus, I would, okay? I guess uh, I could go writing, but it just... Yeah. Do I want to do that to guarantee that I get Midler on side? Probably. I probably do. How's the AI doing on religion? One person's going for one point per turn. Now, I'm probably going to end up going work ethic. Work ethic works really well with the Steve Church because you're likely to get some really big adjacency. So because I'm getting work ethic, I don't really need to crazy rush my religion because the AI tends not to beeline it too much. So I'll go Settler. Let's go Settler and we'll go over and see if we can settle near Singi. Okay, the AI is definitely running away from me, which which is fine, I guess. But I, I don't want you to run away. I want to come and find you. I'm going to go and just upgrade my Slingers to Archers. That'll be a good thing. We'll go for Campus. Maybe we can build a Campus. You never know. There's a plus one Campus in my, in my nation. It's got to be worth it, right? <laughs> <laughs> First archer done. There's the barb encampment. We found it. We found it. I could hire a warrior. That would give me a little bit more army. The problem is, is I want to be farming these barbarians with levied units, not my own. My own units are kind of, they're not really giving me anything right now. I'm just surviving. I guess the advantage of killing this barbarian clan would be, well, survival. So I will get a warrior. That gives me a little bit more army, but I don't need to worry about that too much. God King, I no longer need. Let's go for urban planning. We've got discipline. A Gogi, I want to steal as many of my units as I can rather than make my own. Uh, do I still have Lady of the Reeds and Marshes? I do. So, just to show you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marshes workable in my capital alone, and a bunch around Singi over here. So I, I think this is definitely the pantheon to go. Like, I don't even think there's a choice. Ta-da! Awesome. Right, let's just work all of these tiles a little bit more. And as you can see, yeah, already there's a 3-2 tile and there's more 3-2 tiles where they came from. There's a truffle over there, which is looking mighty fine. Yeah, you see? You see? The barbs already are starting to spawn more units. They just do this every time. Every time they're like, oh, we're being threatened, are we? raise a massive army and you're like no don't do that please don't do that one archer shot move in cover yourself and then we'll go that attack and then this attack good right we're almost there already we're almost there this gives me the quarry for the masonry boost that's lovely let's go for writing we'll get the campus if we can then we can at least see if we can pick up mitla somebody somebody's on two envoys with them already which is a bit annoying it means as soon as we levy them, they're probably going to get stolen. But uh, at least we're, we're, we're levying with a 75% discount, so that could be worse. Just going to keep pumping settlers out, I think. Uh, as much as it would be good to get another builder, I think I'm working some decent tiles here. Actually, I'm going to get a monument. Monument, well, the reason for that is that I'm actually going to get more culture and work more of these marsh tiles without having to buy them. That could be more handy than I think. I also want to see if I can get fresh water within two tiles of Singi. Now, Candy's probably been met as well. Yeah early empire inspiration candy would probably be a better option to try and levy i reckon 50 gold for mitla 60 gold for candy candy's got a bit more of an army but i'm thinking getting an inspiration for early empire is probably easier because that's just six pop yeah i'm gonna take that punt Let's move to Candy. I reckon we can levy Candy easier. I'm also thinking, seems weird, but I'm thinking of a Tundra Settle away from Singi. Now, I'm, I'm wondering whether or not going for a Dark Age this era and then going Heroic would be really good. But we're going to get Holy Sites, and if I can get the Dark Age card to give myself more science from Holy Sites, that would be awesome. Plus, I mean, that's a good Holy Site, isn't it? That's going to be worth uh, six faith again, using the Tundra to my advantage there tempted to do all that yeah now let's 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 try and give that a go that's not a bad idea um disperse clan era score wise it's destroying an encampment but it's it's more than six tiles away i believe it is seven tiles away so i'm hoping i'll get two era score rather than three so that's good settling will give me eight era score there's another barb clan that's just appeared above me oh lord this game is going to be heavy fair play Fair play. We're just gonna have to. We're gonna have to play our play out of our skins today. I think that's just what we're gonna have to do. Get a heavy chariot from that clan. Someone is here. Is that Kemmer 
Oh, or is that Byzantium? It could be the new colours of Byzantium, or it could be Kema. I'm not sure. Um, I reckon it's probably the people getting the holy site either way. That would be my guess. This will time nicely for writing either way. It's Kema. Okay. Cool, honoured to meet you. Yes, I'd love to sample your hospitality. Are you the ones getting the holy sites? You are indeed. They're likely to go feed the world, which which kind of makes sense, really. Let's just think about this. Do I want to be friendly with them or not? Do I want to be friendly with them or not? I don't know the answer to that one. Uh, I could get myself a bunch of gold. But equally, I could be levying people and then going to war. That's also a good plan, isn't it? So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. There's my second city, by the way. And look, my pantheon springing into life immediately. The truffles, truffles are engaged. They're ready to go. Let's get this holy site down. Let's get it working. Perfect. There's writing. I was going to get a settler, but I'm thinking maybe just getting the campus now to get that envoy Mittler could be useful or I mean then this is a decent wonder if we can pull it off that's two science and one production to all marsh towers in my empire I mean come on I think we're morally obligated to give it a go aren't we so <laughs> Maybe I should. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, uh, I'm going to build it near the tundra sort of tiles. Um, I, oh, do I want to do that? Oh, that's a mistake. I probably wanted to build it over there. So if I wanted to get theatre squares in, but no, I don't I want to play Norway. Come on. No theatre squares. Next for bronze working. Let's see if we can upgrade my s units to swordsmen, maybe. Well, that is the, is that the play? Do I go sailing and then through to shipbuilding? And then I can move my units across the Gulf of Thailand. Oh, ah, I think momentum is the only way we're going to do this, isn't it? Going across the Gulf of Thailand. So as much as iron is useful, sailing and shipbuilding, it's, oh, it's so expensive. Now we're going to have to go bronze working. Such a weird start. Counting down on the era, by the way. If I can avoid getting a normal edge, I think that'll work out well for us. I really do. I think a dark age would be would be a lot of fun. Zanzibar has just declared war on Kemmer. Kemmer's already at war. Oh, interesting. There's Hungary. Interesting. Met you. And I just realized I've mucked up massively. Of course I have. So Hungary, of course, uh, I've met them for an era score, but I've just obviously gained candy. Candy means that I've just levied an army or I've got an army and now I've got... Uh, to era score from that. So we're going to go for a normal edge. Ah, going for dark edge is really tricky. You very much have to sandbag yourself and I'm not, I'm not keen on that. Uh, I'm going to use my ability now to levy Candy's military. That gives me the mercenary boost, but now I'm just going to move this army north. See if we can't find Hungary. It's going to be really tough. They've got 390 already. 390 army. That's going to be probably way too much for me to conquer. But at least if on my journey I find any natural wonders i can get myself a relic so that's that's not a bad idea but the, the norwegian horde are on the way north everyone we're, we're on the way the journey is unknown we've no not a boat in sight we're just off we're, we're making our way oh medler gave me a boat as well Sorry, there is a boat in sight i lied yeah no 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 yeah i mean that that, that wall is fairly justified but no no this isn't that sort of norwegian boat rush i promise Thinking this through, like having Norway above me, sorry, um, Hungary above me is is probably the worst sieve that I could have been spawned next to because they're going to start levying city states and I'm going to start, you know, they, they're going to gain tons of envoys with them and there's nothing I can really do because Norway, like there's no way of getting envoys really apart from just doing it the usual way. It's going to be really tricky, really tricky. I, yeah, I don't know how successful this is going to be. A one population Hungarian city. Oh boy, I've hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the problem is Hungary has so many warriors and if they levy Bologna, which they're likely to do, they're going to have many more, many, many, many more, many, many moons will pass. Kemma went choral music, by the way. They didn't go feed the world. Come on. They clearly haven't been subscribed to the S. Orion channel. They don't know my tips for playing Kemma. Yep. Do you see that? Do you see that? Bologna has gone absolutely mad. So Hungary now has an army that could literally sink uh, a ship. Oh. The only other thing I could think to do would be to just be engaged in a massive field war around Bologna and then use these city-state troops to grind a bunch of science and culture and faith. Not even try and go for the cities because the cities are likely to be guarded beyond an inch of their life. But use the warriors. I mean, ugh, the problem is Raven King makes these units really strong as well because Hungary does it better. The only thing I could think to do 
would be to declare war on Bologna. That would sever the connection between Hungary and that city-state. That might be my play, actually. That might be my play. Okay, to do that then, Bologna is pretty well defended. I'm gonna need a battering ram. I'm gonna need a battering ram. Um, okay, but, you know, if I go to war with Bologna, Hungary's not gonna get too mad at me directly. So let's go bronze working, and then I'll follow that up with masonry. That'll give me the ancient walls, uh, but also, more importantly, the battering ram. Then we'll go from there. I don't know if this is gonna be effective, because at some point, Hungary is likely just to steal candy from me, because that's exactly what they do. My troops are passing by. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right, iron. Did we get any iron? There's iron there. Okay. So we have a single source of iron. Good, good. I could get a war cart from that barb encampment, but uh, I'm not going to. That doesn't sound like it's worth it. Three era score. That's much better. And the sanguine pact. There we go. Can get the sanguine pact done. Vampire. It can only be the one. The only. Lord Sucklington. Mm -hmm. Maybe Lord Sucklington will be the key here. The key to my inevitable victory. Uh, everyone's in a golden age. This is probably the worst time to go and invade anybody. Like, literally, this is the worst time. Let's give myself exodus of the evangelists. Just so that when I get my religion, I'll get a bunch of era score. No one else is going for religion apart from me right now. Uh, and uh, obviously, Kemen. But ignore them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, another barb clan. Another barb clan. We could invade that with my units. That's probably something good to do there. Let's let's bring some of my some of my levy and all of my leveled units down. I mean, like I'm not gonna attack Bologna anytime soon. These walls are almost impenetrable to me until I get a battering ram up. There's military tradition. That's good. That means I can now flank units, which gives me just a small advantage on combat power when fighting. I say small. I do mean it. At this point, I'll take any bonus I can get. Trust me, I, I would. The triple iron deposit directly above me in this desert. That's a terrible place to settle, but it is very handy. Oh, Hungary have gone for their own religion because they've gone for the Exodus Golden Age. Well, that's another plan I had because I was going to go and crusade them. Um, that's... Oh, let's start. Oh, I am being challenged here. This is... This is... Ah! I think we'll go for swordsmen now. If I can get at least a couple of upgraded units, I might stand a bit more of a chance in open warfare against Hungary. Come in likes the fact that I've got some holy sites going. Yep, you need to be my friend. Oh no, Midler! No, 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 Candy, don't you do this! No! I need to farm this Barbican encampment. This is like the only source of resource I've got. Ugh, fine. It's like, I, I want to be able to tell them. Back off. Back off, this is mine. No, 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 leave them alone. Okay, this is a levy unit. So this means that when I get the kill, there we go, early empire and a bit of iron working as well. We got faith, we got science, we got culture. It worked out to be about two turns worth of both. Hey, for me, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. I like that, we'll take that. Now we get Pingala in, come on. Let's get this playthrough going. We, we've been we've been out to sea so far. We can work this. Uh, now, I'm going to incite the barbarians. That'll force them to spawn more. We can go and see if we can keep farming them. Also, if this archer moves somewhere that I can attack easily, I've just been sort of following it around Bologna. If this moves onto one of these tiles, I will declare war on Bologna. No, it's moving back in. Fine. Etimananki, that's two science and one production to all marsh tiles in my empire. This may be the one wonder that saves my entire game. I am so pleased I got that. Any game with Etiman Anki and Lady of the Reeds and Marshes is a good one, especially because we've actually gone for a bit of a wet map, uh, so I know I've got a lot of marsh that I can be settling into. Already I'm working one of these delicious tiles in my capital. I can absolutely be working more though. Um, you can see I'm working three in that city. 15 science per turn now. Yep, that's a bit better. And I'm going to make that even better by just buying one tile down there. And uh, I'll treat myself to another tile there as well, which I should have bought in the other city. Never mind. 19 science per turn. There we go. This is what we wanted to see. Raid clan. 30 gold, which is good. More importantly, it's going to spawn barbarians. Hopefully we'll, we'll get some more that we can go and kill. Oh, it was tempted. It moved to there and then moved back. Come on, Bologna. Leave this to me. Is that an encampment you're building? It is. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. 
No, don't like it. Right, there's the scout kill. Oh, annoyingly, again, the city state is totally blocking me. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I want to get through. Candy, give this unit to me. I levied your army. You shouldn't have that. Like, I, I, I know it's new. I know they built it, but it's not the point, is it? The point is it should be mine. Whoa, that's damaged. Is that the volcano that did that? Yeah, that's the volcano that did that. I was thinking, like, somebody's really got, got into that one, but uh, no. Oh, that's annoying. The barbs are being killed. I'm gonna have to kill it with the archer and I'm not gonna get anything for that. That's that's really frustrating and I can't move through the units. <sighs> Fine. All right, well, I can't I can't farm that barbarian encampment because the uh, the city states are not allowing me to, but never mind. I, I guess I'll just have to have fun elsewhere. I could attack the units of Midler. That would be another idea. Um, City state on city state. Yeah, yeah, probably not a bad idea actually. Let's move some of my units back. <laughs> Candy is just declaring war on the world. Right, hang on. Let's just do it. Yeah, yeah, sod it. Declare war. Let's just get that kill. Another bunch of culture and science and faith. See how they respond. They're attacking with various units, but luckily it means I can still farm them. There we go. Ironworking has been boosted and political philosophy is almost there as well. Okay, so I'm going to follow up this plan. I've got loads of iron available to me. So we're going to go for the Berserker. So we're going to go make a trade route, mathematics, kill unit with a spearman. It's an interesting little combo hit, but if I can get Berserkers, maybe, maybe then I can go for a bit of a run on Hungary. I don't know. They're continually attacking me. This is good. Don't mind this at all. Political philosophy. Huzzah! Let's go for oligarchy. There we go. We've got stronger city-state units now. People are massively going and gunning for the generals, which is a bit annoying. Somebody's going for the scientists fairly hard as well. I mean, I could have gone for probably the scientists myself, but it's okay. This archer can attack there, and then... Oh, I don't have another levied unit. Right, and again, it's just I can't use my units to kill. They have to be the levied units. It's really weird. Like this? Is that worth it? It probably isn't. I and mean, it's just a city-state troop, isn't it? It doesn't matter if it survives, really. <laughs> Seems harsh to say, but uh, it's kind of true. Uh, I'm going to regret it if I do that. Right, okay, I'll pull back a little bit. Let's just keep our units going. Battering ram. Shall I just take over, Mittler? Is that worth it? No, I kind of want both city-states on side because they're going to make my libraries super useful. Keep my life for now. Keep my life for now. I'm just going to clear the units and then make peace with them. So discipline. That's good against barbarians, but isn't really good for much else. Uh, conscription is good, though. So I'll take that. Urban planning is doing good. Then our I mean, settlers would be useful, but I'm not settling as much as I should. Builders. There we go. You see, this is good. Or influence points. No, I probably should have influence points. Or diplomatic league. Let's go diplomatic league. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm mixing between a couple of different strategies here. But I think for me, as soon as I get Bologna and I can get two M Voice there. That would be helpful, although admittedly Hungary has five there. So yeah, that was pointless. I don't know why I did that. Never mind. Galley kill though. Bam. 15. Oh, that's good. Just a little boost. A little boost here and there. That's what that's what's gonna make us happy. Okay, charismatic leader. We're gonna undo the damage we did. Or oh, actually, should we get profit points? No point getting profit points at the moment. We'll get our religion when we get our religion, you know? Another warrior kill. Bam. Hey, it all helps. It all checks out. Inca. Oh, they have 57 science. Just to make me feel really good about my game. I like it. So it's only fair, isn't it? Okay, well, can I make at least one friend? I could make a friend. No, I can't make a friend. I'm gonna at least send them over open borders. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll make a friend. I don't, I don't know. At this point, who knows what the AI is doing? Oh, he's a vampire. Yay, Incan vampires. Another kill. Drama and poetry is being boosted. Oh, Cardiff. Cardiff is right next to Inca. Okay. I could levy over here. What what sort of army have you got? 85? God, that's a bigger army. Ho, 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 ho. I, I, think, I think what this might be is just a very opportunistic sieve. Not a particularly good sieve, but one where you have to sort of think about it very hard and go, maybe I can sort of scrounge a little bit of an opportunity here. That's currency boosted. I've been waiting on that one. We'll go currency, min mathematics three different specialty districts. If I can get my capital to seven pop, should be able to boost that one. And this is interesting though. Suddenly, for the first time, I feel like we may have a slight strategy. I've got some science per turn. We've got two campuses being built. I've got Mitla and Bologna. I'm not going to kill uh, Mitla. We're going to let them peace out pretty much, yeah, five turns away it says, but I'll, I'll just wait for them to, there we go, move some units out like that. It's exactly the sort of thing I'm going to do. Oh, it said it wouldn't kill it. Ah, damn. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll wait five turns. I'll let them go and we'll move on Bologna. It's it's so simple. It just might work. Hattusa, 
Okay, yeah, there are a lot of scientific city-states this game. I think we've chosen the right strategy here. I'm pretty sure we have. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratiz, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Devil X, Skeptical Bear, Craig Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Guberman, Clint Hennes, Thank you all for your support, it's amazing, see you all next time, goodbye!